Hey everyone. Today we are going to do now a vertical bar graph. <clears throat> so our horizontal bar graphs, the bars came out this way. But a vertical bar graph, they come out from the bottom here and they go up, so vertical. And this is the kind of bar graph we're used to seeing. So I have another frequency table here. And this time there's no tally marks. There's just numbers. And across the top it says number of houses painted. So I'm going to continue that title for my bar graph. Number of houses painted. I have my people as my categories. And then I have here the number of houses that each person painted. My categories go across the bottom on a vertical bar graph. I'm sorry, they go across the bottom. So I would have John, then Mark, then Quinn, and then Sammy. <clears throat> and my data and my intervals will go here. If I did 0, 2, 4, 6, 8, 10, 12, 14, 16, 18, 20. John painted 5 houses. 5 is in the middle between 4 and 5. So I'm going to go right in the middle here. <coughs> and color in John's bar. Okay. Mark did one, which is right in the middle between zero and two. Quinn did three, again in the middle between two and four. <clears throat> and then Sammy painted four houses. So now I have my data nice and neat in my graph, and I am ready to answer some questions about it. Alright boys and girls, have a great day!